Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Same coffee today. Well, today it's going to be 79 degrees. It's overcast and there's potential like 50% chance of rain. So we could use a little more rain. That would be good. All the nitrogen in the rain that we've had for the last few days off and on has really greened up everything. I don't ever remember things growing this quickly ever since I've lived here. I mean everything is just lush and green and it's wonderful. So today I think I might go visit my mom. If not that, I'm going to stay home. I've got another guy coming to give an estimate on the roof. And I have to see if he can get the same roofing available that we've kind of, sort of, picked out. So, yeah, it's very stressful dealing with this. I have to make the decision. Do I want to do just the garage? Do I want to do the whole roof? You know, if I could stretch the roof out to another couple years, that would be great. But I know it's going to cost me more than two. Creamer's gone. I have more in the basement. So it's just a matter of pay now or pay later. I don't know. I have to figure some things out. I really did want to get that little loan paid off before I did the roof. But, and I was hoping to get my car paid off too, but I don't know. It's, it's just a lot of juggling around. When you're on a low income, you're always robbing Peter to pay Paul. And, um, you know, it's really hard to save up, even for an emergency fund. Because it's like every other month, you kind of get an emergency coming up. <laughs> and then there it goes, flying out the window. So, I get it. I'm not alone. <laughs> and it all sounds great that, oh yeah, you can save a lot of money on a real low income. But in reality, you know, unless you're super, super disciplined and you don't allow yourself any pleasures... It's really difficult. So, all right, let's have a sip of this coffee. That's a pleasure I can afford. Cheers. Okie doke. That'll do. So, I'm not, you know, I'm not a high-end gal where I have to have everything the most expensive and, you know, I don't buy designer clothes. I, you know, I don't have my Starbucks every day. I'm, I'm just, I've never been like that. You know, even when I had my kids, um, I didn't buy them designer clothes. I bought them nice clothes, but, you know, it didn't have to have that label slapped on it because I didn't care about stuff like that. And, um, I kind of wanted to teach them not to care about things like that, too. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty much happy with my life. But, you know, when, when things like this come up, like a roof or windows, or we're not talking about hundreds of dollars. We're talking about thousands of dollars that are going to take a while to repay. And then you keep your fingers crossed and say a prayer that you don't have another big bill coming up on top of that because that's how people get into trouble. You know, sometimes you just have to fix what you have and, you know, it's great saying, okay, I'm going to DIY it, but I DIY what I can, but, you know, as you get older, that's just not possible anymore. I did that when I was younger. I I did flooring. I, I did you know, tile work in the bathroom when that was leaking. I've always been very independent and self-sufficient, but 
there comes a time in your life where you just, you can't, you can't physically do all that stuff anymore. So then you have to figure out something else. And I do not want to sell my home and move into an apartment. I just don't want to do that. So, um, anyway, I guess I'll just have to bite the bullet and make a decision on what I'm going to do. Only garage for now or the whole, the whole roof. But making decisions like that is stressful. So I think I'm going to have to do a little meditating on this, a little praying on it for guidance, and see what I come up with. All right, well, for now, I'm going to take a breath, and I'm going to enjoy my coffee, get out a pen and paper, and try and make a plan. And I will meet you at the budget book. Okay, here I am back at the budget book. So yesterday I get a red X. I did spend some money. Um, my friend and I went to Burger King. I bought myself a burger, well, Impossible Burger. And they, they had a deal going where it was two small meals for $12. So I also got my uh, grandson a burger and um, so I, I got two meals for twelve dollars so not breaking the bank so anyway uh, I was sitting here this morning adding up my monthly bills and trying to figure out this roofing situation what I can afford you know what how much the payments can be I have to call a finance company they have same uh, the one roofing company has uh, 12 months same as cash well obviously I won't be able to pay off nine thousand dollars in 12 months unless the payments are really up there so um, I have to check that out and then my banker was telling me the last time I was in there in the bank I was talking about the roof and the windows, and he said there's some sort of senior program where you can get a loan for home improvements for 3% loan. I don't know. I have to make an appointment with him. Um, he's somebody I trust. I've been banking with, and I really trust him, so <clears throat> um, I need to make an appointment and go talk to him and see what my options are. So anyway, that's the plan. Um, so I wanted to go, all my bills come due at the beginning of the month. So I want to go over my bills and actually what I pay here in Ohio on bills, and you can compare it to what you pay. Like if you live in California, I know it's going to be way more some states it's going to be way less so uh, it's kind of nice to compare you know where you live uh, to see if if you're basically getting screwed but anyway so let me go over some of my monthly bills all right so here is my um, let me see if I can get this focused here is my uh, tracking sheet that I fill out every month now this month, I still owe about 3000 on this loan. So this month I paid off 500 So um, I was hoping to pay, usually I pay 250 a month, but I was hoping to get this paid off sooner. So this month I paid 500 but then of course we've got this other issue. Now my car payment I owe... 7000 something on that. So my monthly payment for that is 32133. And then I have my my bills. I don't include this in here. So I probably should, but I don't. All right. Well, my bank charges a checking fee. That's another thing I want to talk to my banker about because sometimes he'll remove that. 
our association fee every month is $148, which really is not bad because they do snow plowing, they do maintenance for the lawn, um, they do mulching once a year, and they also trim the bushes. So that's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's gone up a lot since I moved here. But anyway, then here we have the Master Association. That comes due every three months, and that maintains the pool, the exercise room, the um, little party room we have, and, you know, the tennis court, the basketball court. We have all those amenities here in the, in the neighborhood. So that's not too bad either. This is my health care. I get it through United Healthcare. I have ARP, and yes, I know ARP is uh, a little on the woke side, but, you know, they've paid all my medical bills. I've never had a problem. I've never had to, you know, fight for them paying something. So I'm leaving that the way it is. My property taxes have gone up again. Um, here where I live in Olmstead Falls, we have a very good school district. And I do have grandchildren in the system, so it is what it is. So that's three fifty one twenty every month. My water bill is usually pretty stable. I have, um, what is it, the Homestead Act? that uh, gives you some money off for people at a certain income level. So that's usually $16.15. My electric bill, of course, that's gone up. i got to do some research, see if I can't get something a little cheaper. $91.45. Gas bill. Now, with the gas bill, I don't know what happened last month. It's not usually this high. So for June it was 7188 and for July it was 5152 but somehow I missed the payment sometimes I'll plug it into my uh bill pay thing and not hit the next button I need to so I think that's what happened but anyway so this is like a double bill but this is the monthly bill so it is what it is uh the cable my grandson pays a portion of that uh, is one thirty eighty. He works from home and also he likes to game and I need a better internet because of uploading videos. So that's what it is. Uh, the sewer bill is always based on the water bill, so it's usually a twenty five something. It's also on I think on your water consumption. I don't know. Anyway, it's twenty six ninety three. My phone is this is for me and my mom. It's thirty dollars for each line, so that's sixty dollars, and that's with um, oh Metro T Mobile Metro by T Mobile. So um, that's a pretty good rate for cell phones. Um, and then I and I ended up putting my car insurance and my house insurance on one bill every month instead of getting it every three months uh, and having a big bill to pay. And it doesn't cost me any more to do this. So it's one fifty three forty four. So my total expenses for the month are uh, around fifteen hundred dollars, give or take. Now this is all optional here, but this is what I have every month, and you know I have to do something. <laughs> so uh, in the evening I do like to watch TV. Um, so uh, Netflix I have twenty one fifty nine, Hulu sixteen nineteen, Roku nine seventy one, and uh, I think that includes. Paramount Plus and AMC Plus. I don't get separate bills for that. I get it through Roku. So that comes to sixty-one forty-eight. And yeah, I could cut back a little bit, but I do watch all these. You know, I, I don't just watch one one app. I do watch all these. And then um eh, I don't know about the Walmart 
it's $13.99 a month, you know, and they have free delivery. So uh, I, I keep going back and forth. Do I want to keep that? Don't I want to keep that? If I shopped every week, I would definitely keep it. But I usually shop once a month, so I might be a little cheaper just to pay the delivery fee. But anyway, so everything all together not including my car payment and my loan repayment comes to this amount 155634 so i mean if i put my car payment in there that's another 300 you know so it's it's up there so that's my income basically gone um not a whole lot of wiggle room in there for savings, but I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. So anyway, that those are my bills for July, and I need to do a little tweaking and see where I can squeeze out some more money. So, okay, uh, I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see what else is up. All right, well, I want to talk a little bit about decluttering. I have a lot of dishes, and this is just not even a portion of it, a small portion of it. I have a lot of dishes. So my new plan is, now I could sell this stuff, but honestly, when once I make the decision to get rid of something, I want it gone so I can't change my mind and start putting things back again. And when you go to sell things, either on Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever, that item is still in your house. It's still waiting on your mind. And when I make the decision, I want it gone. So anyway, these beautiful mugs are part of my dish set. Now, I had 16 of these at one point. Um... So those I've kind of pared down already. I could probably get rid of a couple more plates. I'm not sure about that yet. I have to decide. But I don't need all these mugs. So what I'm going to do is um, I have four of these. I'm only going to keep two. Um, I have this brown one I'm going to get rid of. I have two of the green. So I like those. I'm going to keep those. But the rose mugs, I'm going to get rid of all but four. And then I have, you know, various other ones. So I don't need all these mugs. The glasses we use, I'm going to keep those. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes we're down plates, you know, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Um... Same with the soup things, the bigger mugs. I'm not sure about those either. But just getting rid of a lot of the mugs is going to free up some space and make things much easier to put away because every square inch... Now, some I have dishes, uh, dirty dishes in the dishwasher now. But it's like every square inch of every shelf has something on it. And I'm trying to make it a little more open. So that's some of my dishes. So I'll show you in my dining room what my plan is for that. So in here I have my dining room dishes and again I have a service for I think it's 16. I don't need 16 plates and things anymore. I'm going to keep either four or six and the rest I'm going to get rid of. Um, I have a lot of little doodads and things in here that I really don't want anymore. My whole point is this: these cabinets are dirty. They're dusty. They're, you know, and I just don't want to take care of it anymore. I don't want to have to take all this stuff out a couple times a year and wash it. So I'm going to get rid of at least half of everything and if I really like something I'll just keep either two or four of whatever it is I have. Now I have one in the corner here and then I have another one with more dishes in the corner there and then I have all these dishes 
here. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This is a different set of dishes, so I'm keeping four of those plates. I think I have eight. And I'm just going to donate them. I'm going to donate it to my senior dogs. I feel good about donating to those people. So, and then eventually, if I get enough room, I really like these corner cabinets, these over here, but I'm seriously thinking about selling this and just getting more room here in the dining room. So, anyway, that's kind of the tentative plan, and then I can keep that cleaner, because right now it's just... It's too hard. I can't take all this stuff out and wash it and put it back. And and I don't like having it that dirty all the time. I mean, it's really, really dusty. So, okay, that's my new plan for dishes and glasses and mugs. All right, well, I have the donation people coming on the 17th. So I'd like to get started on packing up the dishes uh, sooner rather than later. I'm also, I went through a lot of my old pajamas. I'm getting rid of some of those. Um, I, I just need to lighten my load. I, I just, uh, I don't want to do it anymore, keeping all this clean, and you know, the older I get, the harder it gets, so before I get to the point where it's like, oh my god, kids, come on over, you know, you need to, you need to do this for me, I want to do it, and I want to get it done, and you know, have a little breathing room, and not have to worry about, you know, who's going to take care of all this stuff, because Nobody's going to take care of it but me. And a lot of these things I used when I was younger. I, I liked to entertain. I had, you know, I'd have uh, three or four couples over and make a nice dinner and all that. I don't do that anymore. And I, when I do have people over, um, we use paper plates. You know, it's easier. And... I want to visit with the people. I don't want to spend the time um, washing the pots and pans. I mean, you know, I'll go to Dollar Tree and get some disposable um, cook things, you know, pans and stuff. And, and then at the end of the party, I throw it away. So, and I know it's, you know, not green and it's blah, blah, blah. But, you know, for as often as I do it, I don't feel bad about it. Let me put it that way. And, you know, we'll use paper plates and paper napkins, and um, it, it's just easier. So, like I said, I want to visit with my people. I don't want to spend the whole time at the kitchen sink washing the dishes and putting them in the dishwasher and the next day putting them all away. So, I mean, I have a lot of things that I still really like, and I'm not getting rid of those. And even my dishes um, that I want to get rid of, I'm keeping some of them because I do like them. And if I ever do have a guest or two over, I'll have enough. If I, if I choose to make a nice table setting, I'll still have enough. But I'm never going to have a lot of people over. Uh, you know, that that's all in the rearview mirror for me. I just don't enjoy doing it anymore. I used to love to do that, but not anymore. So that way it'll free up time where I'm not fretting about, oh my goodness, look at that cabinet. It's disgusting. I need to clean it, and I don't have the energy or the time to do it. So anyway, that's my new strategy for um, decluttering and getting rid of things. And um, I want to do it in a peaceful way. I don't want to have to um, get stressed out about it. You know, I'll pack up some things every day. I'll put it in the garage if, <laughs> if I can find some room. If I have to, I'll leave my car in the driveway until the declutter people come. 
and um, pack it up and then when they come I just put it in the driveway and they pick it up so it's it's a perfect situation so anyway that's the plan and hopefully I can start working on that and when I have things rattling around in my mind like I know you guys are gonna get sick of hearing about the roof but things like that decluttering relieves my stress because I feel like I'm doing something productive. It's not like, like, oh God, I got to do this, I got to do that, and now this is coming up. I don't want to do that. So getting rid of some things and organizing things, it alleviates my stress. That and going for a walk, and I really do want to go to the Tai Chi class. So, um, I am going to look at, uh, I asked the Tai Chi instructor, I liked him, I, I, I liked his whole demeanor and everything, and I asked him, I said, well, are there any YouTube videos that I could look at to practice? Um, because going once a week, you're not going to remember, okay, you've got this stance and that stance and it flows with this stance, you're just not going to remember. And um, he said on YouTube to just look up Tai Chi Easy. So that's what he said to look, to look up. So I'm going to do that and, you know, maybe take 15 minutes a day and, and start doing a little bit of that just to relieve some of the stress. And um, like I said, with my, my budget is pretty darn tight, you know, I mean, I only get so much money and pretty much most of it is going to pay bills or my car. Now, once I get my car paid for and that little loan, I'll, I'll have a little more breathing room, but by then I'll have to do something with the windows or the furnace, you know, I mean, after 20 years, that's a possibility too, the furnace or the air conditioner going out. And that's usually at least 10,000. So it, it's like, it's all coming up. I mean, my refrigerator is probably going on 10 years old. My stove is 20. Um, I don't use my oven that often, so I have my toaster oven, so even if the, the oven went, I'd be okay uh, because I have the, the microwave that doubles as an oven and also my toaster oven. So I could put off getting a new stove. Um, and I only use the same burner most of the time over and over, so unless all four burners go out, you know, I could still continue to use my stove. My dishwasher is probably mm, about six, seven years old. So it's not original with the house. I already replaced that. Already replaced the refrigerator. Hopefully that'll last another five years anyway. Uh, and then of course the washer is new. The dryer is 20 years old. Um, I did not, replace it when I replaced the washer because the dryer was still good. So there was no point in my, you know, I'm not going to get rid of something that's still decent just to have it match. I mean, they're both white, but you know, it's fine. It works great. So anyway, um, those are my plans. <laughs> we'll see how I do. And, uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're decluttering, why you're decluttering what. So, like I always say, I don't want to over declutter because I don't want to have to go out and buy new. So, this is how I figured out what would work for me. So, anyway, um, all right, my friends. Um, that's really all I have for you today. Uh, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.